Oh, hello! I didn't even see you there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ash K. Holm. I have been dying to show you guys my beauty room. This has been such a long awaited video. A while back, I got this room professionally organized by a company called Liberate Your Space, and I posted a few photos to social media, but today I wanted to like dive in, really show you guys how I got this room organized because it did not start off this way. And I want to show you guys the befores, the afters, the highs, the lows, just all of it. So let's get into it. So over here in this corner is my vanity section. This is such a vibe to me because I really just love this whole little setup. The chairs are restoration hardware. They're super comfy. I have this desk. It's actually Ikea, nothing super fancy, but it gets the job done. This is the Alex desk, I believe, from Ikea. I'll definitely make sure to link most of these pieces in the description. I'm gonna try my best, you guys. And we have my vanity mirror, which is from Impressions Vanity. Such a freaking vibe because it has these built-in speakers on the side. It also has this dimmer switch right here, so it really sets the mood. And I also use this as a desk as well. I'd show you guys the inside, but this part's kind of messy and there's really nothing too exciting right here. It's all like supplies and things like that. So anywho, and we also have all this makeup up here because I'm gonna do a giveaway today. So if you guys watch this video all the way through, I'll be sharing how to enter this giveaway. So stay tuned for that. So for this giveaway, I've got a bunch of really amazing stuff, you guys. These are all products that I love and use all the time. I've got a small travel size brush set, some of my favorite lip gloss sets, Kylie Cosmetics, also from Buxom Cosmetics eyeshadows from Buxom, this Nikita Dragon face palette, which is one of my favorites. We've got some Guerlain products and some tanning products and Ella Luz. You guys are gonna love this giveaway. I also have a smaller vanity area in the middle of the room. So this is where I like to sit to film a lot of my YouTube videos or anything for social media, like IG story stuff, any kind of content. This is kind of where it all goes down. Same chairs over here by Restoration Hardware. and. This is just my area. I feel like I'm always over here sitting, creating content. This desk, oh man, this desk has been around. Like you guys can tell it's a little bit wonky. I'm fine with that. Probably won't keep it that much longer. I actually had this at my old apartment that we used to live in because we had such a tight little space, but I decided to repurpose it and use it in the middle of the room because it's skinny. It doesn't take up too much space and it just works for the time being. So this is from Ikea and I believe the name is Mom. And I'll link all the info on this guy below as well. I also have some little brush canisters that I got from Spectrum Brushes, Cosmo Cube. I love like these little containers here. The container store has such amazing containers just to put, you know, little things in like Q-tips. And this is from iDesign. This is fully loaded right now. Kind of a mess, but I like this on my desk because I feel like it just has everything that I need, a little bit of everything, mascaras, a few of my favorite lip liners, some of my tools up in here. It could be more organized, let's be honest, but it is what it is. So, and then right above me, we have my Rode microphone. So this is a new microphone that I just got. Yay! This is my baby. And then over here in this corner, I've got my monitor. So this guy is actually on wheels. So you can kind of move it wherever you want, which is so great. I usually actually have it right in front of me, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the space. So I moved it over to the side. The TV I got from Target and the stand is from Amazon. You could actually do a computer monitor and just put it on the desk, but I felt like I needed something big right in front of me, like even bigger than a computer monitor. So I went with the TV and that works really well for me, so. Can you guys tell pink's one of my favorite colors <laughs> so i got this backdrop from amazon and shockingly it's pretty great quality it's pretty heavy duty and i've just got three different rolls i've got like a gray a white and the pink they're pretty hard to store so i only have three for now and fabric's also a great option but so far i've just been working with paper and i just love that clean look but now i want to show you guys my favorite parts so over here on the other side of my room, I have this whole entire wall taken up by shelves. 
and I have had my eye on these shelves for such a long time and I'm so glad that I finally got them. We moved into this house about two years ago and it's really just been an overall dream of mine to have a makeup room, to have a glam room, and to be able to give you guys a beauty room tour, this is crazy. I remember starting off with literally nothing and I barely owned any makeup when I started this whole journey. To get to this point to have a fully stocked room, organized, and it's just a space that I can come into and feel like I can get creative and find exactly what I'm looking for, it's honestly a dream come true. And it's still, shocks me to know that I have this space in my house, like pinch me, pinch me, seriously. But yeah, every time I walk into this room, it really just shows me how far I've come in my career and I'm just thankful for the whole journey. So let me show you guys this wall. So starting over in this corner here, these are from Ikea as well. Can you guys tell? I love Ikea. Ikea sponsor me. <laughs> no, but <laughs> seriously. Eventually, I would probably get something built in and custom in the future, but we're not there yet. For now, Ikea's killing it for me, okay? So over in this corner, we have the Ask Drawers by Ikea, and you gotta come a little closer to see this because everything is nicely organized. I had this company come to my house and help me out last year. They're called Liberate Your Space. I'm obsessed with this company. They operate in New York City and Los Angeles. Natalie from Liberate Your Space came over and helped me completely reorganize and revamp this entire room. I gotta show you guys some before and after pics because it was not cute, okay? But we finally got to this beautiful aesthetic and I'm obsessed. This system has honestly made my life so much easier because I'm able to find exactly what I'm looking for and I feel like as a makeup artist, we're constantly getting booked on jobs the night before or maybe even the day of, trying to find what I was looking for and now I know exactly where it is. So on top of both of these drawers, I've got all of my covers that I've been able to collect. These are like trophies for us makeup artists and hairstylists literally like an Olympic gold medal. <laughs> Seriously, so this is the CR fashion book, still in the packaging and everything. I didn't even want to open it. My girls, the Kardashians, we've got, I'm just gonna show you guys a few. This is Ola Magazine, Becky G. So I love to keep these out. It just reminds me, you know, again, how far I've come in my career. And yeah, I feel like it just looks cute up here. So this is from the PAX collection at Ikea. It's basically the custom closet that you can design there. So whenever I was picking these out, I actually went into Ikea and you just wanna make sure that you go to the wardrobe section in Ikea and they have a computer that you can get on. You can actually customize it exactly the way you want it. You can even make it like this tall. I kind of went a little wild and I made mine almost all the way up to the ceiling. I probably wouldn't have done that had I known like how hard it would be to get up there. I feel like I almost fall off the ladder every time. So I don't advise anyone to go that tall because it's very hard to see what's in that, this, even like this drawer, it's hard for me. But this has been so great for me and it's so cool because you can make it as narrow or as wide as you want, just depending on what works best for you. And I kind of wanted to go with like a mix match. I did some of the drawers opaque. I did some of them clear and glass. Clearly I couldn't make up my mind. So I just wanted a little bit of both, but you could honestly do them all clear or all opaque. This is like my favorite part right here because at Ikea, they explained to you that this is actually used for jewelry and you would put like a felt bottom, but I thought it would be so cool for like lip liners, eyeliners, and concealers. So we'll get into that. So down here, starting from the bottom, I have all of my foundations. And I mean, I've got all different types, Becca Cosmetics, Marc Jacobs, Kogan Doe, Dose of Colors, Laura Mercier. I mean, pretty much anything you can think of, it's down here. And does it all get used? Not so much, but as a celebrity makeup artist, I feel like it's really important to you know, try new products and not everybody can wear the same foundation. So I will say this has definitely come in handy having such a variety of foundations because not everybody's skin is the same and let's just be honest, we have to customize it to each person. So yes, it does come in handy for me to have this much foundation. So moving up to the second level, we have more foundations. I honestly use both of these drawers quite a bit. 
I love all the NARS foundation. So that's what we've got going on over here. Um, Armani, we've got Lemire, Dior. This is kind of like my jam up here. I feel like I'm always digging in these drawers. We've got the Beauty Blender Bounce, Bite Beauty. Love all these products. So it is great to have a variety. It does get used eventually. So this is my collection of bronzers. You know your girl loves a bronzer. And all of my bronzer palettes. We've got some blush palettes over here as well. Every single container that you guys see on this whole entire wall is from iDesign everything so i'll make sure to link that as well we've got more blush over here just from a variety of all of my favorite brands and of course skincare i've got different primers facial sprays oils moisturizers i mean you name it it's all up in here and yeah there's a ton and i'm excited for this giveaway today guys i'm definitely going to be giving away a handful of stuff for you guys and moving up, we've got face masks over here in this bin. More skincare because, I mean, why not? Can always have more skincare. Liquid highlighters. This is my glow drawer. Ooh, this is one of my favorite drawers ever. You can never have enough illuminating glow products. I mean, why not? And liquid highlighters and cream highlighters are just one of my favorite things to collect. I don't know why, I just love it. Love to be dewy. And then all of my powder highlighters too. I feel like I don't use a ton of powder highlighters, but there is that moment where you need a powder highlighter or a loose powder highlighter or a palette. And here it is. So, so my girl Natalie from the Liberate Your Space team was kind enough to offer all of my subscribers a free consultation and a $200 gift card towards any of her services. All you have to do is mention my name. Got you guys. Over here, we've got all of my lip liners and also all of my pencil eyeliners and some brow products right in the back. I also have some gel brow products here and some colored eyeliners as well. So anytime I'm looking for something, I just kind of look down here at these labels. We've got blue, purple, green eyeliners. I mean, you know, I kind of had to mix some of the colors together because it is what it is. I'm running out of space, okay? So I've got all my nudes, my pinks, and honestly, I feel like I gotta go through this again because it's good to just constantly get rid of products. These can go bad and maybe we need another organizing video so you guys can see me declutter. <laughs> all right, and then over here, I've got all of my concealers. This is actually probably my favorite drawer in the room. It's the most aesthetically pleasing drawer to me. It looked so much better when we first did it but I keep adding more concealers to this drawer. But all things aside, I've got a bunch of my favorite concealers up in here. And moving up, we've got eyeshadow palettes and mascara. I also have a few concealers up here. It's not labeled, but it's in the back. So eyeshadow palettes, you know, you just, at some point you just gotta like work with what you have. So things kind of get compiled. And then over here, we've got eyeshadow palettes. This is another one of my favorite drawers, starting with my NARS palettes, Tom Ford. It's kind of put together by brand to some extent. It's kind of hard to keep it with that same consistency, but you guys catch my drift. So NARS, Tom Ford, Huda Beauty. We've got Dose of Colors, Persona Cosmetics, Viseart, Kylie. So this is one of my, oh man, I'm like, this is my favorite. Now this is my favorite. I mean, it's really hard to choose, but I feel like eyeshadow is honestly one of my favorite things to do is play with the eyes. So I'm always digging in this drawer, looking for new eyeshadows to use. And then up here, we've got all the loose powders and these are organized pretty well by brand. We've got Milk, Lancome, Kevin Aquan, Huda Beauty, Anastasia, I've got Fenty, Mac. I mean, everything is pretty much organized by brand in this drawer. And I really try to keep the pro like the brands that I love to use. Over here, we've got press powder to just carry that through. So more powders. All of my press powders, tons of Mac Studio Fix because that's just a great product to have in your kit. I've got all of the mineralized skin finishes, Jouer, Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. You can never have too many of this. Also my NARS pressed powders, Giorgio Armani. And of course, I love this Makeup Forever powder here. My matte velvet skin is so good. More Dior concealers. I mean, it just goes on. I actually got this stool from Amazon. I love it because it's nice and slim. So it's really easy for me to just kind of slide right in these cracks. 
This is a pretty fun drawer because it's got all of my pigments and glitters and colored eyeliners. I mean, it's just a fun drawer. I love like standing on this stool and just looking over this drawer like, what are we gonna play with today? So I've got tons of liquid eyeshadows. I mean, it's just a lot of fun up here and it just inspires me to see it all organized like this. Natalie and her team really killed it. Up here, I've got a bunch of different makeup bags. Nothing too exciting in here. I've got Andrew Fitzsimons bags. I mean, my friends that come out with their brands, I try to keep their products as a little keepsake. And then up here, I've got all of my tanning products. I love a self tanner. So we've got tons of Saint Tropez. I've got a lot of different like Fenty Beauty, liquid bronzer, glow products, Vita Body Blur. This is a great product to have in your kit. I mean, all of it. And I also have extra eye design containers up here because can't get enough of these. Like. I have pulled from this drawer and then just started using these in other areas of my house because these are amazing. So if you guys are looking for containers I design, they know what's up. So extra containers up here. What is up here? Oh my God. I, I can never get up here. Like it's honestly scary standing on the sofa. Oh, okay. So there's a, so this is the, the hair drawer. I forgot this was up here. Um, yeah, tons of hair extensions. When I want to be a queen, I grab hair from this drawer. And yeah, I'm not going to show you guys anymore because it's kind of scary. I'll just leave that there. Whenever I need to restock my kit on beauty blenders, this is where I go. All my beauty blenders are here. Danessa Myricks, I love her product. And then I've got all of my beauty blender soap because can never have too many soaps. Stay sanitary. And another drawer that is like perfection is my brush drawer. So it's labeled by large, medium, and small. I didn't really know how to do this drawer. I probably could have done a way more organized job, but this has been working out for me. So it's just by size for eyes, face, body brushes. It's all here. This drawer is actually pretty empty because it just has a bunch of like Z palettes and things like that. Anytime I'm trying to like depot products for my kit, I, I always go back to this drawer here. And up here is my portfolio drawer. This is, I know I said I had other favorite drawers, but this one is very near and dear to my heart because it also sh tells a story and it shows me how far I've come. So I'll kind of show you guys a few things that are in here. So anytime I do red carpet makeup for any of my clients and you get to go on the red carpet, I always save the little passes because I just feel like it's cool to have. So I've got these in here. I have my very first ever collab that I did with a company called Rinkin Cosmetics so long ago. So I always keep like whatever they send in the PR kits. I also have, oh my God, this was my second collab ever with Lily Lashes. Check it out. Hanging on to these because this is one of my favorite lash styles ever. It was like a really beautiful fluttery wispy lash and I just love the way that they did the box. So I'm hanging on to these. I got a few left. If you still have my lash, you're a real one. And I've got, Another one of my, gotta get it out of the box. So I try to keep things like in the original packaging just so it doesn't get damaged so I can keep it as a keepsake because this is like a trophy. I did Buxom Cosmetics campaign for the Extrovert Mascara. This was one of my favorite collabs ever to do. It was such a fun shoot. I'll show you what the PR package looked like. They did such a good job with this one. So it's like a little box, open it. And this guy, verse open like that. Got the extrovert mascara in the center, so cute. So this is staying with me forever and the original mascara. I don't care if it gets old and crusty, I won't use it. Um, I had the opportunity of doing Ariana Grande's makeup for her cloud fragrance and here it is. How stunning is this package? Let's get into that. So gorge. So it's kind of like my trophy section. I have extra, I mean, I've got back stock of that fragrance because that was a moment. And this is one of my most recent pieces of work that I did with Kim Kardashian for her birthday opalescent collection. So I was able to do her makeup for this campaign. We've got a picture on the front and the back. 
And yeah, the best part really is the outside of the box, if I do say so myself. <laughs> And then the inside is just the makeup. And I try to keep everything intact, just how it was. Some people like to just keep the box when they did the artwork for it, but I don't know, I kind of like to keep the whole thing. It's a whole vibe. This was my first lipstick collab ever. So extra. We've got campaign posters from Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I mean, all kinds of stuff. This one's also really special to me. This one is with CoverGirl. I helped them with this PR package and it was a part of the launch for this. So they have just like some words and some tips on how to pick your shade for foundation, concealer, and they've got my photo here. So this one's cute. It's a smaller PR package, but I love it. This was another KKW Beauty collection that she came out with. And with this one, I was able to do some of the artwork on the inside. So I did her makeup for this collection as well. At the end of this wall, we've got more drawers and right above the drawers, I for almost forgot to show you guys, I have some of my artwork kind of all over the room. So this is just like different models that I've worked with. Chris Cruz shot these, so that's his work. And I've got more covers over here. We've got V Magazine, Wonderland, Variety, like still in the package, Camila Cabello. You guys wanna come a little closer? I'll show you my eyelash collection. So top drawer, hands down, favorite eyelash drawer ever. This is my individual drawer. I feel like I use this drawer the most. We've got all of my Danessa Myricks spiky eyelashes. Love these. And all of my favorite Ardell flare lashes and my Ardell singles that I use so much of. I've also got just a ton of other lashes by Swede, another great brand, Ardell again, Velour. We've got toddy lashes. So everything in here I use all the time and I'm constantly stocking up my kit. I also love Raquel Beauty lashes, more Ardell. I mean, it's not as organized as I want it to be, but it's good enough. Can you have too many eyelashes? And then of course, my Lily lashes. And look, one, one made it, it's still here. We've got an Ash K Home Lash. I'm, just, I'm hanging on to these, these are like gold. Over here, I've got a Nude Sticks and a Buxom Cosmetics drawer. This is just dedicated to these brands because I have been working with Nude Sticks for years now. So I've been able to continue this relationship and I'm always doing you know, different things with Nude Sticks. I love the brand, so I know exactly where to find it. Same with Buxom, all Buxom cosmetics, tons of lips, eyeshadows, all of my faves from Buxom. And then I've got a bunch of extra brushes here. So these are like my actual paint brushes. I love to paint and draw and things like that. This is so great for like special effects. So we've, I've even got like face tapes. I mean, you wanna snatch your face? You got it all right, you got some fake blood. Ooh, spooky. All of it, the special effects drawer. You want some rhinestones. Some gold leaf. I mean, what's going on in this drawer? I haven't looked, checked this out in a minute. And then I've also got some lip stains and gold lip glosses. I don't know why I have so many gold lip glosses, but I just do, and they're here for some reason. So that's a wrap on this side. And look, my little crystal. I think this gives me good energy in this room. So I've got my amethyst crystal. I like to call this closet my VIP closet because it's all of my very important products. So this is basically the back stock. Everything is labeled, organized by Liberate Your Space. And oh my God, the before and afters of this closet actually give me anxiety and nightmares. Like I looked like such a hoarder, low key, like it was so bad. But Natalie from Liberate Your Space completely changed this room and just made my dreams come true. My ultimate organizing dreams come true. So shout out to Natalie, you're the I love you. So this is my back stock of Neutrogena wipes. And I've also got my Kylie Skin wipes, a bunch of other brands. All the wipes are here in this drawer. And then down below it, we've got the tools. So this one has extra Q-tips. We've got extra puffs, duo glue, eyelash curler, more puffs, wedges, mascara wands. I mean, everything you can think of to just restock your kit. All the necessities are right here. I've got all of my Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, more Kylie Skin, KKW Beauty. You guys know I use a lot of these products, so I need to have them just ready to go when I need it. More KKW, more back stock of foundations. And of course, we've got a ton of back stock of eyeliners from Marc Jacobs to Charlotte Tilbury to MAC. I mean, this one's kind of like a miscellaneous. So these are all of my favorites 
liquid eyeliners, like the pen eyeliners that are so fun and easy to use. Tons like House Labs. I mean, like you name it, it's probably in this drawer. I'm an eyeliner collector. You guys know I'm obsessed. So everything's in here. Wow, this floor is like really creaky. My goodness. Okay. And then we've got just some personal things up here. I've also got like camera equipment and maybe some junk. I don't even really know. That's my VIP closet. All right, my friends, you made it to the end. So you know what time it is. It's giveaway time. And all you have to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up, like this video, be subscribed to my channel, and make sure to leave the secret emoji down below in the comments. And that is going to be the double pink emoji hearts. Good luck. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this beauty room tour. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this style. Of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. I told my squad we gonna make it out. One way or the other. Yeah. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you are always in the same place. Talking switch, man. I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to make my rich mess the plaques. I started from the bottom, I ain't going back. Told all the dogs we gon' make it